Trading 2 on 2 have unveiled their brand new cash ISA, 5.2% interest. That interest is paid daily, withdraw anytime, and there's no account fees, but is it worth it? That is what this video is gonna be digging into. Before weighing up whether it's a good option, let's first cover two questions. What is a cash ISA and who are trading 2 on 2? If you're only interested in the information on the Trading 2 on 2 Cash ISA, then use the timestamps below to jump to that specific part of the video. But before we come on to that, question one, what is a Cash ISA? Any cash you put inside of the Cash ISA wrapper earns interest and that interest is tax free. Particularly with rising interest rates over the last couple of years, many people now may, even if they don't actually realize it, have to pay tax on their savings interest. Cash ISAs protect that. So any cash in a cash ISA that earns interest is completely tax-free and it continues to be tax-free year after year. Of course, side note, the ISA allowance is £20,000 and that's split across the four different types of ISAs, cash ISA being one of the types of ISA. With cash ISAs, you can get fixed cash ISAs where you earn a set rate for a number of years and you get penalized if you access the money early or there are easy access cash ISAs where once again, you earn a rate normally slightly lower than the fixed ones and you can access that money whenever. Even though rates have increased, cash ISAs, in my opinion, still aren't the best. It's better to maximize your ISA allowance using a stocks and shares ISA because the gains and dividends over the long term are gonna earn you more and save you more tax than tax saved on savings interest. But ultimately, whether a cash ISA is good for you is determined on a number of factors and that's not what this video is about. But in short, it's really best used for those who have some of their ISA allowance left over and they breach their personal savings allowance, so they have to pay some tax on their savings interest. You can then park the money in a cash ISA and avoid that tax on the savings interest. That is a whistle stop tour of everything you need to know about cash ISAs. Question two we mentioned at the start, who are Trading 2 on 2? Trading 2 on 2 are a large investment platform and I think people realize how long they've been around for now. It's been around 15 years. I was wrong. It's been around for 20 years. It started in 2004. They have both an app and a website, but I think people still think they're a newer company just because it's an app and it's sort of more techy, but they've been around for two decades now. So they're a large, reputable platform that we can use in the UK and other people can also use in Europe. Previously, the accounts they offered were a stocks and shares ISA, a general investment account, and CFDs. Of course, if you know me, wouldn't recommend touching CFDs or anything like that very high risk. But recently, they've been diversifying and expanding what they offer. So they recently branched out to offer their own trading two on two card. And now they've also introduced a cash ISA as of the end of May 2024. When it comes to investing, they really are one of the best platforms in the UK. They of course offer multiple accounts, an ISA and a general investment account. They have very low fees. There are thousands of different options for your investments from ETFs, stocks, REITs, and so on. So the point I'm trying to make, Trading 2 on 2 have been around for a long time, and when it comes to investing, they're already one of the best platforms. So the card, and now this Cash ISA, are trying to sort of diversify and develop what they offer. Now I've got those out of the way, let's look at the Trading 2 on 2 Cash ISA. Before I come on, is it worth it? Let me give you all the key details that you need to know. Firstly, the rate is variable. So that can change and can be cut. People are expecting interest rate cuts, later in 2024. So if the bank rate is cut, it's likely that the rate on this cash ISA will also be cut. But for now, at the time of recording, it's 5.2%. So with that rate, every £1,000 you have, you earn £52 over the course of the year. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. So if you put the full £20,000 in on day one, after one year, you would earn £1,040 in interest quick maths using the trading 2 on 2 cash ISA. It's worth noting as well that the interest is paid daily, which is a nice and also pretty good feature from trading 2 on 2 because of course people are going to be using them and then thinking they're constantly earning money, whereas that still be because the interest is paid daily, but they're still actually earning the 5.2% across the year, um, but get paid that interest daily. It's worth saying here though, a more technical point, but the interest actually also compounds daily. And this was a comment I saw on a blog post from Andy, or be clever with your cash. This was a comment from one of his followers, and the true rate over the course of the year is actually 5.34%. So not much of a difference, but because that compounds, just an interesting point to make in this video. That's the rate covered. The second thing to note is that it's a flexible ISA. With some ISAs that are inflexible, if you contribute, say, £5,000, 
and then withdraw that £5,000, you've actually used up £5,000 of your ISA allowance and you only have £15,000 left. With flexible ISAs, if you contribute that 5000 and then withdraw the 5000 you still have the full £20,000 ISA allowance left. So it's a flexible ISA. Number three, it's FSCS protected, up to £85,000. Another good feature to have and it gives us a bit of comfort as consumers using this cash ISA. Fourthly, the minimum deposit is one pound, so you can get started with a very small amount. Of course, with a cash ISA, you can put up to 20,000 pound in one, but of course, once again, that 20,000 pound ISA allowance is spread across all of different types of ISAs in a tax year, and we get a brand new 20K allowance each tax year. Another point worth making here is that to get the Trading 2 cash ISA, you have to sign up using the app. If you haven't signed up using the app yet, I'll leave my Trading212 referral link in the description. If you use that link, we'll both get a free share. Or if you have a friend or family member who has a link, just make sure you do use a referral link because you might as well get a free share and you might as well help someone else get a free share as well. And then with that free share, me personally, when I get any, I normally sell them and then put the money into a global index fund. If you want, you can hold the share, you can sell the share and put it into something else. You can actually sell the share and put it into your cash ISA to get that pot going if you wanted to. And the final point I'll make on the features of the Trading 2 on 2 cash ISA was another point from Andy's blog post and what one of his followers said is that the only downside appears to be withdrawals take up to three business days. This is pretty classic, I think, with most things. If you buy a t-shirt from online, the money comes out instantly and it takes you 14 days to get a refund so it looks like here once again your money will go ahead instantly but if you do want to withdraw the money of course it's flexible and you can withdraw any time but it will take a few days to actually access that money based on what this specific person has said online so we've gone through what is a cash ISA who are trading to on two and what is the trading to on two cash ISA now let's answer is it worth it the first question you need to ask yourself here is is a cash ISA even worth it regardless of trading to on two a bank, another provider, is it actually worth it? They're more worth it now than years gone by because the interest rates have increased, so cash ISA rates have also increased. But in my opinion, the answer is still probably not worth using the cash ISA, and that's, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, because the 20K ISA allowance is over all of our ISAs. Using a stocks and shares ISA, even though I know some people are a bit nervous to invest, I've got other investing videos on my channel and I go through that process separately. Even though some people are nervous to invest, Ultimately, over 10, 20, 30 years, the capital gains and dividends that you get from investing and the tax you avoid on that will be far greater than any interest tax you have avoided. And that is because in general, your investments will grow more than your cash because your investment's actually working and it's being put into something and it's growing and compounding over time. Of course, it does depend what you invest into though and the returns or whatever your money's in. But that's the first point to consider. Is a cash ISA actually worth it? As I mentioned at the start of the video, it could be worth it if you have some of your ISA allowance left over. Just say you have £5,000 left over of your ISA allowance and you're going to breach your personal savings allowance, which is £1,000 for a basic rate taxpayer and £500 for a higher rate taxpayer. Additional rate taxpayers get no personal savings allowance. But if you're going to breach those thresholds, depending on your tax bracket, then you will have to pay some tax on the interest on your savings. So in that case, if you could then park in this example five grand in a cash ISA, you'd of course avoid that interest tax. That is the one scenario where I think cash ISAs can be worth it. But at the same time, it's very subjective. It depends on your goals, your family, your age, your salary, what your current personal finances are looking like. But ultimately, ask yourself the question, are cash ISAs even worth it in the first place? If yes, then the second question to ask yourself or think about, is the trading to one two one? The platform you want to use and in my opinion it is on various uk big money blogs the train to one two cash isa is one of the top pick if not the top pick i think at the time of recording it is the best rate that we can get on a cash isa once again not surprising when a product like this comes onto the market it normally is the top rate to attract consumers and money into it but still it's the most we can get on our money so if you're going to use a cash isa you might as well get the top rate 
And of course, the added bonus is Trains on 2 is also a great investing platform. So if you're already using Trains on 2 to invest with a stocks and shares ISA, for example, you can now also have your cash ISA on the same platform. So it's very convenient. And similarly, if you don't currently invest, but you want to invest, there's a lot of good platforms in the UK, but Trains on 2 are one of them. So you can sign up to Trains on 2, use their investing features, and then also use their cash ISA feature. And obviously just a reminder as well, if you need a referral link to sign up, I'll leave mine in the description. Make sure you get a free share. And that wraps up this video. Is the Trading Swan 2 Cash ISA worth it? The bottom line is yes, if you want to use a Cash ISA. And that is obviously only something you can answer. If you want, feel free to share about your personal circumstances in the description, and I can try and point you in the right direction. But I hope this video is helpful to cover everything you need to know about the Trading Swan 2 Cash ISA. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.